right, beautiful day in Maine, about 10 degrees. Um, so here's uh, here's what we're gonna test out today with the moisture meter. We got some white pine, uh, some poplar. Uh, we got a good sized pile of hemlock. Some live edge, uh, good sized slab red oak, about two and a half inches thick, and uh, and some ash. Um, everything else is just one by. Um, and everything besides the hemlock has been seasoning for about eight, nine months. The hemlock's only about um, maybe four or five. All right, so here we go. We got um, we got ash, and then we got poplar, and then we got hemlock, and then finally white pine. Um, can't get the pin uh, readings to work. Not sure if that's because the wood is frozen, but it's not really reading anything. So going with the pinless. Um, so here we go. So we got it on the um, ash right now. It's reading about 14%, and this is supposed to be plus or minus 4% accuracy. Poplar coming in at 11. And hemlocks 16. And the white pine is coming in at 11. So I think what we'll do is we'll take this wood inside for tonight. Let it uh, let it warm up, not be frozen, and then try both uh, the pin and pinless uh, inside tomorrow. And over here with the uh, big slabs of red oak. Coming in at 22%. Won't be taking these ones inside though. So brought the wood inside now for a couple days. It's definitely uh, not frozen anymore, and I don't think it's really changed um, the percentage much at all, if any. Um, the pin is now working, so I'm wondering if when frozen, the pin pin is not a great option. So let's go through these again here and see. Put this on pinless first. And some different numbers. Pinless versus pin for sure. So we got the ash and poplar, sixteen percent. This is the hemlock, fourteen. The white pine, fourteen. I think those are all higher than outside. If we go to the pin. Get this here. So this is the ash with the pin. Maybe. So I don't know if you can see it, but the ash 9.6, 9.54. Poplar. than eight white pine six or seven probably So I guess, I mean, for 25 bucks um, off Amazon, uh, if you're trying to maybe just check out a moisture meter and maybe get an idea where your wood's at and don't want to spend a big chunk of money, it's, it's probably not super accurate. It says plus or minus 4%. Um, yeah, I believe it, I guess. Turn it on, you got, uh, you got drywall, and these are pinless. You got masonry, softwood, hardwood, you got the pin style for the wood and the pin style for building. So uh, definitely simple, 
and easy to use and again 25 bucks on Amazon um, some people it might be worth it then you know the hobbyist buying a $500 moisture meter so 25 bucks I'll put the link uh, in the video below if you want to want to check out the doctor meter moisture meter